Okay. <clears throat> May 25th. Third day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This is day number three. I have another recipe for you guys. Um, this is cabbage salad. Remember before I gave you the Chinese chicken salad minus the chicken? This is another way to do it, but this is with purple cabbage. You can also do green cabbage, or you can do green and purple cabbage and mix them together, and you'll get this salad. The ingredients for this is really, 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 really simple. <clears throat> I haven't met anybody that doesn't like this salad with that dressing that I told you guys about. Oh, and when you guys buy this dressing, if you buy it, make sure that you shake it up really well. Because you know how dressing likes to separate. So, um, that's the dressing. But even people I know that don't eat salads, don't eat beans, and things like that, when they've had this salad, they're like, oh my gosh, babe. Seriously? So, it's the business. Okay. Here are the ingredients. I have purple cabbage. Along with my purple nails. And, um, I have green onions and carrots. Really, 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 really simple. Of course, I'm going to add my almonds, my roasted almonds, because I love roasted almonds. Like I said before, the almonds are my meat. I love it. It's ridiculous. So um, that's that. I'm going to cut up everything. With the cabbage, uh, you kind of want to cut it up, let me see, at an angle, because you can't cut the cabbage like you cut salad. And I know you're probably thinking, raw cabbage face? Really? You'll be surprised at the flavor. Cabbage actually has a sweet taste to it. But the flavor that's in cabbage raw is ridiculous. I kid you not. I, it's ridiculous. I hope you guys try this one. Because I haven't met anybody that does not like this one. So when you cut the cabbage, you're going to cut it like this. I'm just, I want to help you out just a little bit. But see how it's like this? I cut it in two halves. But cut them real thin like this. Real thin. So that you have... Thin slices like this. These little thin slices, you'll see at the end when I show you like everything mixed together. But if you cut it like that, it's wonderful. But usually, sometimes I just do purple cabbage, sometimes I do just green cabbage, but you can do both. You can do the purple and the green cabbage mixed together. It's ridiculous. I'm, I can't even lie. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so I threw. I mean, I cut every, I cut everything up. There it is. Uh, you have the purple cabbage, the green onion, and the uh, carrot. So I put it in the bowl. And when I put it in the bowl, I just shook it up real quick. So it gets mixed in. <clears throat> and then you end up with a whole mix, great, yummy mixture. It's my lunchtime. So, and here it is. With the dressing. Mm -mm -mm. And it's so good. I make no sense. But I'm an avocado girl. So I honestly think I'm going to throw some avocado on top of it too. But I love avocado. Mm. Also, I was going to take you guys something else too. Another meal that I actually do. I don't know if you guys like cucumbers, but I love cucumbers. I put cucumbers on everything. I, I put cucumbers on top of beans and rice, okay? So, cucumbers, avocado, and those roasted almonds with that sesame dressing, dumb good. It's ridiculous. This is another meal. Cucumbers, avocado, with some of those roasted nuts, maybe even on top of some rice. With that uh, sesame dressing, a whole nother meal. I told you I think I'm Asian. So, there it is. But that's the cabbage salad. I hope you guys try it. It's really good. And I actually want to tell you guys what the purple cabbage was for. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so the purple cabbage is high in fiber, vitamin C, vitamin A, and potassium. Um, the purple cabbage is. <clears throat> but I added my avocado and more nuts, because you know me. Anywho, I hope, I really hope you guys try this one. This is one of my favorites. So, wonderful. I hope you enjoy this recipe.